allergic to cats but love them still? You can have cat allergies and live with kitties in harmony. Here is how dot allergies are as mysterious as they are frustrating. Our immune systems decide they don't like something and wage all out war against the invader, wreaking more havoc on our bodies than the otherwise harmless substances they're attacking. Being allergic to cats can mean reactions as mild as sneezing and itching when you touch the cat and then touch your own skin without washing your hands in between. My husband, Mark, falls into this category and exhibited mild reactions to our cats before we got engaged. Reactions can also be dangerously severe, resulting in an asthmatic attack or anaphylactic shock just when you enter a room that has or had cats in it. If you have severe allergies, talk to your doctor before even considering living with a cat. Whether you or your loved one's allergies are mild or severe, try these 10 tips to minimize the allergens in your home. One dot see an allergy specialist, these doctors have an arsenal of weapons, such as medication and immunotherapy, to help you in your battle against allergens. Holistic allergy remedies, acupuncture, for example, also can provide relief. An allergy specialist can pinpoint exactly what you are allergic to, which can help you to avoid or minimize the allergen. Two. Keep your cat's favorite sleeping spots off limits to the allergic person. Felines are creatures of habit and usually have a couple of favorite spots where they groom the most, right before taking a nice nap. When cats groom, they transfer allergens from their saliva to their skin, which dries and creates dander that can settle on fabric or become airborne. Needless to say, if you're allergic, your cat's nap area of choice is not the best place for you to lounge. Throw a washable blanket over her favorite sleeping spots to easily clean away the allergens. Another strategy, make the cat's bedroom the same room you used to transition her when you brought her home, says Kate Stryker, a Siberian cat breeder from Buffalo, New York. Three dot replace carpeting with hardwood, laminate or tile flooring, hard surfaces like tile, hardwood, and laminate make life easier in general for people with pets. It's a lot simpler to thoroughly remove allergens and clean accidents from those surfaces than it is from carpeting. Just steam clean or wet mop weekly, 4. Keep window treatments clean, replace curtains with blinds, allergens love fabric and can make themselves at home on it and remain stable for a year, Stryker said. So if you have curtains, wash them monthly. Allergens are less likely to cling to harder surfaces such as vertical blinds, you can just wipe those down with a damp cloth weekly without having to remove and rehang. Five. Filter the air, replace heating and air conditioning filters monthly to once every three months, depending on the type of system you have. Also, have the air ducts cleaned every 3 to 7 years. You should do this whether or not you suffer from allergies, but it is essential if you are allergic.
6.Buy a vacuum that has a HEPA filter, carpeting and upholstery are allergen magnets, so vacuum carpets and upholstered furniture every week with your HEPA vacuum cleaner. If you're the allergic person, ideally this should not be your chore, but if it is, wear a dust mask. If your eyes are sensitive, also wear goggles. 7. Bathe and brush your cat. Weekly bathing and daily brushing removes allergens from cat's fur and reduces airborne allergens. Dampen your cat's fur with a grooming solution beforehand to reduce airborne allergens while brushing. Bathing and brushing should be done by someone without allergies, if possible. 8. Keep the person who is allergic to cat's bedroom off limits to your cat. 9. Clean litter boxes daily. 10. Consider a low allergenic cat such as a Siberian, 